Oh my god, are you crazy? <laughs> hey guys, welcome to our Andreas. Welcome to <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to our new vlog in New Zealand. Wow. So we arrived at a Hobbit movie set, a movie place, I don't know. It's the place where the film, the is it Hobbit and 1, Hobbit and 2, 3, and Lord of the Rings, but just the Shire. Yeah, I never saw this film, so I can't say anything about it, but my boyfriend is a really big fan about this. Here's my beautiful boyfriend, where we are right now. At the Hobbit I already, I already said Two. this. Sven, then why did you ask? Yeah, we will see how it looks like and how we will see how they create that movie. And I'm really excited about it. Oh my god. The weather is so bad. There's the Hobbit bus with some touring. Hello. Oh, it's so rainy. Shit, shit. Oh my god, so many people. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there are a lot of people today. Also, when the weather is so bad. Maybe it's a camera waterproof? No! Sorry. We literally can't find a parking spot. So, oh, it's for motorbikes. We don't care, guys, we don't care. Oh, she said there's no car, car parking. Andy, I think there's no car parking, she said. Where's the car parking? Andy, baby, I found a spot. Baby, here's a car parking. Okay, guys, we found the car parking. Yeah. Okay, guys, it's still rainy, but I have a pink umbrella. I know it's really gay, but I'm gay, and he's from Starbucks. Beautiful, amazing. Wow, we have some flowers in the details. Wow. Should I wear this hoodie, the gray hoodie? Yeah, or should I yeah, wear... take the gray look, hoodie. Look what I have. I have a really beautiful hoodie for a sweatshirt. So there are some cows, sheep. Okay, there are just cows on it. Uh, we and have to go. Like... We have 20 minutes left because... Okay. We have to be early. Oh, it's fresh outside. Help me. Yay. Okay, guys, I have my cute hoodie on now. Okay, it's a sweatshirt, I know. I really like them and I really like my boyfriend. Let's go. Give me a hug. Give me a kiss, baby! So we arrived at the Hobbit um, movie set check-in and we still wait for the bus, but I hope the bus will arrive soon. Then we go to the movie set and I'm so excited, even if it's raining. Here. On, so we got after all this negotiation, the New planet. Zealand Army ruled in the town That's to build this act here. I'm so excited it's for about one and a half kilometers oh long at the time. So oh. um, we are now in the movie set, but it's like really rainy, so I cannot film that much. Are you excited? I'm really excited. I always say I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'm really excited. I'm so excited. Here. I'm so excited. So excited. Oh. Really excited. Excited. Yeah. Excited. Excited. Oh my god, guys, we are now inside of the Hobbit movie set. So there are all the little holes I show you. So it's really rainy, that's why I can't film that much, but I wanna show you the best views of it. Here you can see the whole movie set. There are all the little holes under the grass. Look at these. Wow. All the beautiful flowers. The Lord of the Rings, I believe, are the fourth most read books in the entire world. <laughs> Make sure you have all of your belongings on you because you pass by Lobelia Sexu Baggins' house over there with the yellow door. And if you've seen The Hobbit, you know that she's known for making off with the silverware. She's a thief. And The Hobbit Bilbo goes on that adventure. What he fails to do is to tell anybody in Hobbiton where he's going or when he might be returning. So by the end of his journey, he's coming home and everybody in Hobbiton assumes he's either died or gone missing. So they're auctioning off his whole estate. He realizes this as he's passing through a subdivision that you'll see just on the other side of the hill here as we make our way up. It's five Hobbit holes that were specifically added for the Hobbit. Bilbo makes his way through, sees his things walking off without him and runs up to Bag End to stop that auction. And that's where you see Lobelia there with the silverware. Now the way the class system works in Hobbiton is the higher up you are on the hill, the more windows you have, the better off you are. Across the way, you'll see an orchard. For the Lord of the Rings, they brought in gala apple trees and they artificially 
guys, this is a small property. But look inside. Like they said, um, they have specific houses that are built out inside or that are not built out inside of there, like fake houses. I think that's a lot of fake house. I think that's built inside. But the actors had to like roll into the gates because they were too big for the gates. Look. Guys, there is a little lake. And they told us not every house is real from the movie sets. Most of the houses are real, but some houses are also extra built for them. So it's so shitty that it's so rainy because we can't really enjoy the tour. Also, I can't film that good with the umbrella in one of my hands. Love it here. Love you too. So guys, they told us that most of the halls are fully furnished inside but you can't have a look from inside because they are really old and they don't want that tourists are damaged the halls. That's understandable. Oh my god, guys, I lost my boyfriend while I filmed this YouTube vlog. Oh my god. Where's he going? Now, the important thing about the beginning of both The Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit is that Bilbo is celebrating his 111th birthday. So that's why you see that sign on the gate there that says no admittance except on party business. I want to tell you guys some stuff about this tree on the top of Bag End. If you hadn't noticed already, there's something weird about it. That is a fully artificial tree. That is a fake tree. So we will test if they are really fake. <laughs> they are definitely fake. Why did you eat a fake pea? Oh my god, you eat it. Oh my god, you eat the fake pea. How did the fake peas taste? Disgusting. Uh, he, eat, he ate a fake pea. Oh, Why did you f But this isn't like really nice. There's a hole for you. Really a hole. Nice. A hole for you. Where's a hole? Yeah. There's a yeah. goal. There's a hole. There's a goal. It's so nice. It's not hiked hole. So really. Wow. Like it. Do 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 the Green Dragon! Can anyone remember this from the movie? It was never used for any filming, but the bar off to the right, so that whole right half on the inside, is a replica of what they created in studio. Now I did tell you all that our lake here is man-made, but was made by the previous owners. They did have to drain the lake in order to build the permanent version of the bridge here. <sighs> We get like a free drink because it's raining the whole day, but that's good anyways for me. A bit alcohol for the day, and it's nice. I think this was such a nice experience, even it's really bad. There's an advantage when it's rainy because when it's raining, there are less people, less crowds, and then you get the best experience. And that's like really nice because normally this tour is like really crowdy, and that's what I like here. And I'm like the nerd of Hobbiton. For me, it was like the best time of my life to be here because New Zealand is like 24 hours from Germany and it's like a really long flight and for me it was like it was a rough flight but it's worth it because it's such a nice experience to visit the film set of Hobbit like this movie I watched them as a child and they were so remarkable for me that I always remind me that I have to go there once in my life and now I'm 21 <laughs> And I went here and then it's like it's like crazy like oh my god I went here it's like insane <laughs> Hallo, hallo, hallo. Hallo. Hallo, 1, 2, 3, hallo, 1, 2, 3. 